Leaked documents have revealed Britain in, is locked in talks to replicate its controversial Rwanda deportation scheme with other countries, including Armenia, the Ivory Coast, Botswana and Costa Rica. Several South American nations, including Peru, Brazil and Colombia, were also approached but are believed to be unlikely to agree to a third country asylum processing deal. There's even a subs bench with Tanzania, Senegal and Sierra Leone being put on a reserve list for if or when other targets fall through. The leak comes as the original Rwanda scheme could finally be set to take off, with the health secretary claiming the first deportation flights will take off within weeks from the bill passing through Parliament. Victoria Atkins refused to say whether an airline had agreed to transport the asylum seekers, but insisted the Home Office is ready to go on the £5 billion pound <laughs> project. I mean, it gives you a sense, a little flavour there of, well, Rwanda might fall through. So what we're going to do, we're going to ask every other country <laughs> on the planet. <laughs> Could you do if, like, you know, if the situation, we got five million, you know, the Rwandans, they couldn't make it work, but they still got five mil out of it. What have you, Tanzania, Sierra Leone, Ivory Coast, what are you, they're throwing this, uh, what is it, a flipping auction, for goodness sake? <laughs> I mean, this is horrific. It just shows the ineptitude of this government. They cannot get it right. And the worst part about this, big celebrations, or oh, royal assent will be given this week. Finally, it's going to happen. Fewer little amendments put in there. Life's going to be great. Then the planes can take off, except they can't. They haven't got what an planes? airline. What they haven't planes? got an airline to do it. And even if they did, and we've said this countless times here on the talk, the worst situation for Rishi Sunak, the optics, the worst situation is if 35, 36 people end up on a flight. That is far worse than flights not taking off at all, or at least he could claim he's been scuppered by the usual mischief mm. makers, rather than standing up going, it's happening. Goodbye. And 35 people going, goodbye, Rishi, goodbye. <laughs> um, I don't know why they would speak like that. <laughs> but, <laughs> but do you know what I mean? Thanks Thanks the whole us. thing <laughs> is embarrassing, you know. Well, Unless the only scintilla of hope for Rishi Sunak is between now and the general election, he needs 10,000 people to be sent to Rwanda. Well, if he doesn't hit that, then the whole thing's lost. Before we had agreed with Rwanda, the Home Office had drawn up a list of over 100 countries. They all said no, all yeah. 100. Some of those countries that we're now apparently in talks with had said no originally. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm not quite sure why suddenly now these people... Well, they've there. seen the money. Yes, we're, we're willing to do it. I, I've, over the weekend, I've changed my mind on the Rwanda flights. I think it can work and can be a deterrent, but it, it's no good for sending people who've been here for three, four years. It's got to be tomorrow. First people. Yeah, Correct. tomorrow, that's it. We've got 50 people up tomorrow. But they're the working on the cab right. rule, We take them all. And we, and those they're not going to do that for some strange. No, and I don't know why they wouldn't do that. I don't it seems know like a, an easy thing well, to so do. So they land in the small boats and they get and literally they straight away. Yeah. Yeah. Then it might be a deterrent. As for Costa Rica, I've heard it's a wonderful place oh, to live. You so I've country. heard that it's glorious. I want yeah. to be de I want to be deported to Costa Rica. <laughs> Isn't Death in Paradise film there or somewhere nice like that? To the UK right now. Yeah, Jake Paul, yeah, the famous YouTuber. Yeah. Him, and his, him and his brother live in Costa Rica. Apparently, it's a wonderful place. Yeah. If, you've, if you've got if you're, if you're provided with housing, it's pretty much a lovely place to be. Woody Harrelson lives there as well. Is Who? Woody Harrelson. It's supposed to be a tro like, tropical paradise. Tropical yeah. I mean, paradise, the good education, is, good healthcare, everything. But, uh, you know, Sunak is deranged about this now. I mean, mm. you know, the, what's the potential top yeah. numbers that can go to Rwanda? About 200 or something? Yeah. You know, what? how many people came across the channel yesterday with the spectre of the Rwanda scheme, which the Tories have already told us is putting people off? Mm. Well, yesterday, 534 came across the channel. That is the biggest number so far yeah. this year. So it is not a deterrent. So it doesn't matter how many of these countries he lines up. And by the way, this is all really long shot stuff, isn't it? It's unlikely he'll get anything in place before he gets voted out. So this uh, Rwanda scheme is not deterring anything, anyone, nor will the Costa Rican scheme or the Botswana scheme. Uh, Sunak, as I say, has become deranged about it. He thinks he has to say something and he's just hanging on by his fingernails to a plan that is already useless. Yeah.